if I use these two words, Evernote and files in the same sentence, I bet you be thinking about uh, PDFs, Word docs, spreadsheets, isn't it? Well, what if I told you you have many other files in your Evernote? Just think about it. Every time you forward an email, if that email has attachments, they will end up in your Evernote. And sometimes you don't even see them. Some people use images as signatures. That's an attachment that will end up in your Evernote. And what about Web Clipper? If you are not clipping plain text, you end up with at least some images, some files in your Evernote. And in the future, when Evernote releases the new files feature, you end up with something like this. As you can see here, there is a search box. And I think you agree with me that better file names is equal better search results, right? <laughs> I think we can agree on that. Uh, but I don't think you should go look for every file in every note and rename them. There is no word in my mind where Evernote will release a feature called files and don't give us uh, an option to rename the files from this list. It's going to be a lot of work, but I think we are good on that. We'll be able to do it from here. But talking about work, why would you add more work to your pile? Pretend that this is a new note because I'm only suggesting doing this from now on on your new notes. Okay, I happen to know the name of this file here. If we go back to files, and search for snapshot, you see some files with that name. And this is my, this is the account I use to record the videos. My real account would have many, many more files uh, with this word. So let's go back to that. Again, this is a new note. You just added this image. So instead of leaving it with that name, click here rename and use a better name. Now, if we go back to files, there it is. If you like my videos, if they make your life easier, I'd appreciate if you consider buying me a coffee or becoming a YouTube member or maybe joining my Patreon. Thanks for watching. See you soon.